A local sheriff's department is using a special tool to stop your medicine from getting in the wrong hands. We're learning how it works before National Drug Take Back Day tomorrow. 10 News reporter Alyssa Ray explains how the Bedford County Sheriff's Office is partnering with funeral homes to make this initiative safe and simple. Opioid abuse is seen everywhere, even in Bedford County. We did have one fatal overdose last year. Uh, we had 16 uh, overdoses in 2021. So in law enforcement, what you try to do is you try to figure out how can I bring another tool to the tool belt. The sheriff's office found that tool, a drug disposal bag that's safe, convenient, and can be done anywhere. Sheriff Mike Miller got local funeral homes on board to sponsor the program. Basically to help with quality control, for the uh, prescriptions or medications that maybe a uh, loved one has either left behind or no longer is in use. The process is pretty simple. You just take your unused prescription and pour it into the bag. Then you pour the water into the bag and wait 30 seconds. Then you just seal it, shake it, and throw it away. It allows people to avoid driving to a law enforcement agency to dispose of medication. It also prevents them from flushing drugs down the toilet. When you flush it down your toilet, it does go out into the environment, and that's where we don't want it to be. Funeral homes like Tharp hope that providing these disposable bags will alleviate the burden of loved ones trying to properly get rid of prescriptions after losing someone. I think you'll see the response from just a, a sense of ease for the families uh, to, to just feel that they don't have to worry about it anymore. Another way for the sheriff's office and the community to combat the opioid crisis together. In Bedford County, Alyssa Ray, 10 News, working for you. There are many opportunities to get rid of unwanted medications for drug take back day tomorrow. We have a map of collection sites across southwest and central Virginia on WSLS.com.